Is it giving Jada Wada? I want to be Jada Wada. Oh, Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jasmine Desi. If you're new here, if you're returning, hey girl, hey, what's up? What's good? What's goody? I am back with a new video. Okay, so we're gonna be doing a maintenance glow up 24 hour transformation. Honestly, I think it's gonna be like a 48 hour transformation just because I want to give myself time to like properly just fully glow up. But I spent the last couple of weeks bumming it i'm not gonna lie and just being super lazy with basically everything i just feel like i've been chilling honestly like my birthday month i'm gonna call it a month because i was partying for a month straight my birthday month was like really hectic and i was doing traveling and then i was partying and i was just living my best life you know so i feel like for the month of march i kind of just had to take off and then there was just a lot of like family things going on too i kind of took a step back and Took a little break from youtube as you guys probably could tell but then we came back with a bang because then the jamaica vlog went up um <laughs> if i do say so myself one of my best vlogs ever probably my best vlog ever um i was so happy with just the feedback and like the general love that i received off of that video like you guys really 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 loved that video so that made me super happy um but i'm back with a maintenance glow up because it's time to get back into it's really time to get back into like full baddie mood baddie mood <laughs> i mean it's a mood but it's time to get back into full baddie mode like i need new nails i need a pedicure i need to wax i need to eliminate these brows i need to do my hair i need to do some skin and i need to serve a look like i just want to fully transformed by the end of this video like i'm starting off real bummy real lazy real comfy which is okay but like i need i need to feel like that world like i need to give something because i just feel like i've been chilling so that's what this vlog is gonna all be about today's sponsor for this maintenance vlog is actually love me hair shout out to love me hair for sponsoring today's video they sent me this gorgeous gorgeous wig that i can't wait to put on honestly super cute like i can't wait to dress yeah let's just go on this fun transformation ride together i feel like you guys love when i do these videos so let's get cute <laughs>
today, so I just got out of the shower. Let me put on some lip product first, because that's going to be the first thing that's going to annoy me. And I'm probably going to be listening to music too, since we're doing this vlog style. But I washed my hair. I'm going to just put some oil in my hair. I feel like I could get away with it because my bun is pretty flat and I'm just gonna pin it. I'm gonna pin it flat. I'm just gonna pin my hair. Pin my bun like flush against my head. Yeah. I think that'll do. And then I have a wig cap. I'm gonna take my um, bold hold, the liquid gold, and I'm gonna slick back my edges. My dad called me up yesterday. He was like, Jazz, like, I'm really proud of you. Like, you don't understand, like, everything you have, like, you worked hard for. Like, you're a hardworking woman. So, like, I just want you to know, like, none of these, none of these niggas can impress you, Jazz. Like, none of them should be able to impress you. None of them should be able to do anything that you can't do for yourself because you could do everything for yourself. And he was like, you're never supposed to like a guy more than he likes you. He, he spoke you. some facts, honestly. He was speaking some shit. No, I heard him, like, by the end of the conversation, like, he had just made me feel really good because he was, like, really talking to me. I haven't put on a wig in so long. You have been rocking the, um, the natural hair. Part with the, uh, bun. Yeah. You bitches can't even spell bust down. Can't. You bitches can't even spell HD frontal. I'm fake tight that I didn't go to the LPR and Hi, Dad. Hey. Hey. Brooklyn lost yesterday. Unbelievable. Brooklyn lost? Yeah. The game, though. So does that mean they don't make the playoffs? Oh, no, no, no. That was just... Um, the end of the like, regular season, they're gonna make the playoffs. Oh. Where is Benson? Asleep. Let me see how a side part would look. With no baby hairs? That's beastie. That's beastie. Cause the side part looks mad good with baby hairs. I'm not even nice to them. Look, it's so fine. Gonna find me on it. Is it giving Jada Wada? I want to be Jada Wada. Oh, it's giving Jada Wada.
All right. I finished installing this wig, honey chow. Girl. I'm feeling very cute, very glamorous. It's giving, honestly, I feel like it's giving Barb. Like, it's giving Nikki. Like, I don't know. Whenever I do curly hair, I just feel like Nikki. Even though she be doing so many different looks, it just be giving Barb. But this hair is so pretty. So I will say I absolutely love the texture of the hair. It's super soft. The curl pattern is gorgeous. I feel like the curl pattern honestly reminds me of my natural hair if it was this long. I feel like this is probably my curl pattern. It's like pretty loose, but it's not super tight. Like it's a good in between. It's not super tight curls, but it's not super loose either. It's like right in the middle. I really, really like it. This is what it looks like from the back. <laughs> but yeah i will say because curly hair typically sheds a lot this hair does shed i feel like i can't really i mean you wouldn't normally rake your fingers through curly hair continuously throughout the day anyway because you're gonna make the hair poofier i don't mind a little poofiness which is why i haven't defined the curls yet i wanted you guys to see what it looked like dry um kind of just like straight out the box this part is a little combed out though i'm not gonna lie but like if you look at the curls here they're just so pretty they're really nice the lace super thin lace super hd lace so you got to make sure your ball cap is perfect so i really took my time with this install because ciao i saw how this lace was giving hd my hair is done i have a pedicure appointment but it's actually for tomorrow so i'm not gonna be able to do my nails until tomorrow but i do have a lash appointment later on at five with rebecca so it's 1 14 now i'm actually gonna make myself some lunch because i haven't eaten yet my baby is sleeping underneath me do you guys want to see my baby come here papa this is my little baby look at him yeah she was just taking a nap and i just woke him up wherever i go he literally sits by my feet so this whole time that i was filming he was sitting on my feet sleeping i just got to my lash appointment focus on me okay she said don't get her um but yeah i'm about to get these lashes filled i did good they're not super empty now so and i'm gonna do pink i'm so excited okay see you when i'm done you guys, I just finished. Look at my lashes. They look so cute. With the pink, with the pop of color. <laughs> yes. Okay, I'll see you guys at home. Good morning, Vlogy Vlog. So it is the next day, the next day in our maintenance. I'm actually going to be doing some waxing. I don't have like a crazy amount of hair but i could definitely wax it's been like maybe two to three weeks since my last time we're gonna wax and then i'm actually gonna be laminating my brows because i'm also gonna wax them so i was like if i'm gonna clean them up then i might as well just laminate them and make them look cute i actually ended up going out last night so i put on press-ons and i didn't show you guys me putting on the press-ons because i did the i kind of did it in a hurry but this is what they look like it's just like a really simple nude set i honestly just wanted my fingers to look manicured because i was going to an event let me show you so this was the brand their kiss press-ons um bare but better is the true nude nail series so i think this is new because i been wearing press-ons here and there like within the last couple of years whenever i don't feel like putting you know an actual whenever i don't feel like doing my nails um in between sets i might just pick up a pack of these and wear it for like a week or so if i have places to go and people to see and things to do but i've never seen this series so i think this is new by kiss i got it at cvs um i want to say this was 8.99 for the pack they had a bunch of different shades of nude which i really liked so this was like a super pale pink shade but then they had like a brown nude and then they had a darker brown and then they had a more rosier like really pink pink they're just really simple to stick on they give you a little nail file on the inside you buff your nail and then you use the glue and you adhere them and they typically stay on for like a week for me i might have one or two that'll pop off and i'll just go back and file my nail and glue it right back on because the rest of the set is still there but i try to make them last a week i feel like shorter press-ons like these definitely last longer for me versus the longer ones because if they're longer press-ons are not like super thick they're still pretty thin 
I just feel like I'm too heavy handed and I always end up breaking the longer press on. So I always just go for the short ones. So yeah, that's what I have on my nails. I didn't get a pedicure. Let me do enough, enough of the talking. Um, let's get into some maintenance. This is my wax warmer. It looks an absolute mess, um, but I got this off of Amazon. It was 20 bucks. I've had it for over a year now and she still does a fantabulous job. She just looks a little crazy, but I have my wax in there. It's gonna melt. Yeah, I'm just gonna um, kind of like speed through this because I think I do this every maintenance. So you guys get the gist. Okay, so I just finished waxing my armpits. I'm gonna do my upper lip, but my brows actually were, I was looking at them and they honestly don't really need waxing. I'm probably just gonna tweeze them lightly, but I'll zoom in a bit so you guys can get a little closer. But also like my upper lip isn't that crazy either. I honestly could just tweeze it. I might just tweeze it actually. Yeah, honestly, I don't even have, <laughs> I don't even have enough hair to wax it. Also, when you're tweezing, you don't want to do a continuous motion like this. I might speed it up so it's going to look like I'm going fast, but I'm actually going slow. You want to grab the hair at the root, like right at the root of the strand of hair, and you want to slowly pull straight out. So that's how you remove hair properly. If you're doing it in a fast motion, um, you'll actually end up breaking the hair off. Like you'll probably just take off what's already out of the follicle and not remove from the follicle so the hair will just continue to grow out you understand and then you might have even like you'll see like a little dot as opposed to like the hair being pulled out of the follicle Okay, so I tweezed my upper lip and my brows. I just cleaned them up. I'm gonna roll my scarf back a little because I'm about to laminate my brows. So, <laughs> I'm about to laminate my brows. I have this lash lift kit that I get off of Amazon for, I wanna say $25. Um, so it's an eyelash priming kit, but I use it on my brows. Um, I've done this so many times before, so.
Okay, so I finished eliminating my brows. Now I just wanna like re my hair. So I told you guys I went out yesterday and I ended up putting my hair in this really cute little half up, half down. And I did some baby hairs too. Um, this is what my hair looks like because I slept on it obviously. Slept with my bonnet on but I still slept on it so. I just want to like make it look cute again. Yeah, this hair is really good because I actually only really needs like water and a little bit of mousse to redefine the curls. So that's what I'm about to do right now. I just wish I had a spray bottle. I used to have one, but it broke and I haven't purchased a new one. I don't have a spray bottle. So I'm going to take this detangling brush. It's just like a regular detangling brush and I'm going to wet it. And the mousse i'm gonna use i have a lot of body and i have can too <laughs> they're both almost done another thing i noticed with this hair is that like when i wore it out and everything it didn't like get poofy like it didn't get big the curls stayed defined it wasn't until obviously i slept on it that it started to look a little flat and frizzy One side wet and defined compared to the dry side. See? It's so pretty though! And the ponytail is just like staying on one side, but I honestly wanted it to stay back. Ooh, so cute. Wait, let me define this side. When you're defining curly hair, you want to start at the tips and work your way up to the root. Always, so that's why I'm starting at my ends. So, so nice. That's the my like, favorite thing about Love Me Hair. I will say that their hair is some of the softest hair I've ever, ever worked with, I've ever worn, and it doesn't tangle. This is what the hair looks like all defined. I'm just gonna take a little bit of mousse and like relay my big ears. sip of my, my coffee so i'm officially done with all of my maintenances honestly i feel so cute this hair is absolutely gorgeous shout out to love me hair for sponsoring today's video because i needed the wig in store like i needed it um my cute little manicure set one of my other services that i did i'm just so pleased with everything looks really cute and really good if you guys enjoyed today's monthly maintenance video then make sure you give it a huge thumbs up down below go ahead and click that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications because there's going to be new videos twice a week i love you guys so much thank you so much for watching this video don't forget you are smart you are beautiful people love you i love you and i can't wait to see you on my next upload bye